Who doesn't like the sweet taste of homemade jam or jelly? I am Megan Baumler, recording for Suzanne Dreesen, University of Minnesota Extension Food Safety Educator. In this Jam and Jelly Basics, Essential Ingredients for Sweet Success module, I will review the four essential ingredients and the role of each to make the perfect preserve. Jellied products most often use fruit, which is jellied or thickened to hold shape. By weight, a jelly is 55% sugar. This high sugar content binds with the liquid, tying up the moisture available for microorganisms to grow. To prevent spoilage due to yeast and mold, can, freeze, or refrigerate jellied products. Four essential ingredients are needed to preserve jam and jellies, including fruit, pectin, acid, and sugar. Fruit provides color and flavor. Pectin, natural or added, helps your product to gel and hold its shape. Acid is needed for gel formation and flavor. Fruit contains varying levels of natural acid. A tested recipe tells you if you need to add additional acid. Sugar aids with gelling, adds sweetness, and binds the liquid, making it difficult for microorganisms to grow. Let's explore each of these ingredients. If using fresh fruit, select firm, disease-free fruit. For best flavor in jelling, three quarters of the fruit should be fully ripe and one quarter slightly underripe but not green. If using unsweetened frozen fruit, the acid and pectin level may be less than in fresh fruit. Add commercial pectin so that the product gels. Wash fruit under running water before using. Crush fruit. Heat and boil for two to three minutes to protect flavor and quality. Apples usually need 20 minutes to cook. Extract the juice and use immediately for best flavor or freeze for later use. Pectin aids in gelling. Pectin naturally appears in fruit. Apples, crab apples, gooseberries, plums, and cranberries are naturally high in pectin. These fruits do not need additional pectin to gel. Overripe fruit, strawberries, cherries, blueberries, peaches, apricots, raspberries, blackberries, and pineapple are low in pectin and require the addition of commercial pectin. Commercial pectin comes in powdered or liquid form. You must use the form of pectin that the recipe indicates or you might end up with a sloppy mess. The liquid form is added to a hot pre-cooked mixture of sugar and fruit. The powdered form is cooked with fruit and then the sugar is added. There is a low sugar pectin option called low methoxyl pectin. It is extracted from the inner rinds of citrus fruits. It is chemically different from regular pectin. It needs little or no sugar to gel. Calcium, not sugar, is used to produce the gel. Your product will be less firm and less sweet, but more fruity tasting. Look for the commercial pectin label light or no sugar added. Most low sugared products are preserved by freezing, not canning. Acid is essential for gel formation and flavor. The right amount of acid is necessary to set the pectin. Acidity is slightly higher in underripe fruit. Peach and pear, strawberries, and blueberry recipes call for additional lemon juice. Add bottled lemon juice or citric acid. One tablespoon lemon juice to one cup of juice is common. Sugar is needed for best flavor, color, and taste. Sugar also preserves the product by inhibiting the growth of bacteria. The correct sugar, pectin, and acid ratio is essential for a good gel. You will need at least one half cup sugar for each cup of fruit so that your product gels. White granulated sugar is best. Brown sugar, sorghum, and molasses are not recommended as their flavor overpowers the fruit flavor. Light, mild honey, or light corn syrup can replace some but not all of the sugar. For best results, use tested recipes that call for honey or syrup. All jellied products should be placed in sterilized jars leaving one quarter inch headspace and processed in a boiling water bath to ensure a good seal and prevent mold growth. 
Some directions on pectin packages give you an option to invert the jars. This is not an approved or recommended USDA process. While there are several good reasons for water bath canning, it helps form a good tight seal, destroys yeast and mold which might be present on the rim or lid, and thus increases the shelf life, and is required for any item entered in competition or being sold. Following a tested recipe and processing jams and jellies in a hot water bath will give you a sweet success. Thank you for watching.